Hello everybody, Sanyar, Engineer, MBA and Investor and in today's video I want to talk about the breaking news of a week ago which is basically CRISPR allowing an, a young individual to be potentially cured from a cancer called leukemia and of course I want to talk about all of that here in this video and before we do that, I do want to remind viewers that I was basically on a work trip in the last week. I got really, really busy, guys. It's just a hectic schedule in the last eight to nine days. Just been on the road back in Toronto, back to Montreal. And then within 24 hours, I was flying to Mexico for work. Um, it was a sales summit there. Really fun, really good. It's always good to get around uh, colleagues, have fun. And of course, uh, just, you know, connect with individuals with uh, different people that you haven't seen in basically just under a year ago uh, or a month months ago right so always fun to see people around I think nothing replaces that experience and there's no way teams meeting will ever replace such valuable experiences like we just had there in Mexico but nonetheless this video is not about that this video is of course about this article here from new scientists and his title has experimental CRISPR technique has promise against aggressive leukemia. A 13 year old girl whose leukemia had not responded to other treatment now has no detectable cells after receiving a dose of immune cells that were genetically edited to attack the cancer. And this article was published on the 11th of December a few days ago. Of course, like I mentioned this week, I got really, really busy. And of course, if we go through this article, you'll figure it out pretty few, uh, fast that this is a CAR-T uh, therapy. This is, of course, in a institution. This is looks like this is at, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Can we find it? Can we find it? At the Grain Ormond Street Hospital for Children. Um, and of course, this is CAR-T cell therapy. And of course, using CRISPR as a technology. And it looks like... Um, it looks like, if you take a look, um, okay, they're talking about a little bit of history in the UK. Um, interesting, yeah, so, um, interesting, so it looks like, yeah, so Great Ormond Street in London, of course, this is in UK. Uh, and of course, uh, they're referencing to Wasim Kasim here at the University of College London, Great Ormond Street Institution of Child, which obviously are somewhat involved here and uh, we're tested this in 2015 and of course seven years later we have this situation here um, at the time they did it with treating a one-year-old girl uh, and they start talking about um, base editing here of course they they used looks like they use base editing yeah they look they actually use base editing base edited car t cells really interesting i didn't even get to that point and of course, there are references verb therapeutics here, trying to treat you know high dangerous cholesterol levels with verb one hundred and one that they're going programs in UK actually and in New Zealand. So that's where we stand with this article. So amazing news, of course. Elisa now gets to potentially live for the rest of their life, and of course for their family, her family and her friends, her community obviously a huge relief this may be perhaps the best news they ever hear and i think that's amazing i think that's amazing look guys as much as we can talk with the business side of things the commercial side of things as much as we can address those types type of important things for us investors when you read these types of articles and you figure out that alisa now can go on to live her life as a 13 year old girl for the rest of her life potentially um it's an amazing thing to hear about. It's just lots of positives and it really, really, you know, it, it really is something to, to, you know, to recognize and to acknowledge that CRISPR is here to stay. What is interesting here, it, this is actually base edited CRISPR CAR T cells, which is really, really interesting because I actually didn't even get to that part in this article. I just really read this article, read the headline, went through the keywords here before making this video uh, and giving you the live reaction. So. I just love it. I just love it, guys. And again, just as a reminder, um, CAR T cells are modified to attack other T cells. And basically, those T's, other T cells are bad cancer cells. And uh, by killing each other, basically, you can reduce the number of cancer cells. And of course, 
increase uh, the likelihood to eradicate this cancer in your body, right? So I just love it. Amazing news, guys. Amazing news. I am really happy. This this is something that we're going to be seeing a lot more in the upcoming year. 2023 is a big year for CRISPR program. It really is. We're starting in December. We're not even finishing um, 2022 with an amazing news like we see here from this article. Shout out to newscientist.com. I believe they're the first one to covered this so thank you so much for this guys uh news scientists i gotta give props where it is due and of course i want to thank you guys for watching this video and i'll try to be making videos on a daily basis here going forward uh, it's gonna be really busy busy end of the month here for me got lots of activities lots of things to do just like you guys are rushing for christmas time right and um i think uh, pace will obviously pick up by 2023 by january but for now let's try to do the best we can with these videos so don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and of course i will see you guys in the next video potentially tomorrow on a beautiful saturday let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this guys thank you so much for watching